Hey everyone, welcome back to another Movie Tuesday, but instead of Movie Tuesday today, we're going to do Series Tuesday, and I chose the Netflix original series, Sick Note. It stars Rupert Grant, and it has Nick Frost in it, and it basically revolves around Rupert Grant, who is a compulsive liar. He lies about pretty much everything that happens in his world. He lies when he leaves to go to work, he tries to sneak back in, he lies to his girlfriend all the time, and uh, basically everything starts going really, really badly for him. And he's about to lose his job, his girlfriend's leaving him, you find out later in the show that she's having sex with his best friend who is married and has a baby on the way, and uh, then he goes to the his doctor because he's faking an arm injury this whole time so that he can just stay home and play video games with pretty much the only person that he's completely truthful with is whoever is on the other end of his comms and uh, he goes to the doctor to get a sick note because his you know wrist is hurting or whatever and he just walks around with it in a sling and his doctor is on vacation so the substitute doctor who is played by Nick Frost it is there and he is just basically the the worst doctor on the planet like by far the worst and in the x-rays he says he tells Rupert Grant that he has cancer because he sees something in the x-rays but he's honestly he's just at this moment I can't remember if he's drunk or he's hyped up on like he's shot himself full of Botox or just all kinds of stuff he just steals drugs because his life is completely miserable like he wants to be in love with his wife rich happy guy but his wife just completely hates his guts and only stays with him for the money and so uh, he misdiagnoses Rupert Grant with cancer and then he goes around and starts telling everybody that he has cancer and he actually he walks in on a commercial that's being shot for his company with the head person who's played by uh, Don Nelson Don Johnson, sorry. It's played by Don Johnson. He's sitting there shooting a commercial and Rupert Grant walks into frame and vomits on him because he's just realized that he has cancer and he's really upset and, you know, nauseous and throws up on him. So they want to fire him, but they can't because he has cancer. So he gets to keep his job. They're paying for all of his medical bills. His girlfriend takes him back because now he has cancer and she says he's a changed person only to, you know, find out at the end of the episode that Nick Frost goes in to see his boss and the boss basically tells him, if you screw up one more time, you're fired. And he's like, oh man, I better not screw up anymore. And he looks at this x-ray again and realizes that Rupert Grant does not have cancer at all. So he tries to show up to his job with a uh, an NDA, like a non-disclosure agreement, to have him sign saying that he won't tell anyone that he was misdiagnosed with cancer. And he's like, what the hell? Like, obviously I'm not gonna do that. And he starts to go and try to tell people that he doesn't have cancer, but he realizes that he's gonna look like a complete asshole and that he lied to get everything, you know, back to normal and stuff. So he just doesn't tell anybody and calls Nick Frost and tells him that, uh, all right, I'll make you a deal. like. I'll sit, I won't tell anybody that you misdiagnosed me with cancer, but in six months you're gonna say that you cured me and I no longer have cancer and that's what we're gonna do. And Nick Frost was actually in his garage with a hose connected to his car trying to kill himself and when he gets the call and he basically just hangs up and walks out of the garage all loopy from all the carbon dioxide and walks in and tries to pick up his suicide note and his wife is standing there and she tells him like you misspelled suicide and gets all pissed off at him and leaves but that's basically in a nutshell the first episode i thought it was pretty funny i looked at the reviews before starting to make this video and they're they're pretty poor, like around 40%, but it's basically one of those shows that anything that can go wrong will go wrong, and it just gets really, really bad for him. I'm up to about episode three, I think, about to start four, and I enjoy it, so I think there's two seasons out for it now. They're 45 minute episodes. I don't know how many episodes per season, but if you guys are you know, binge watchers and wanna check out something new on Netflix, go ahead and give it a shot. It's called Sick Note. Um, that's going to be it for my uh, series review today though. I'll let you uh, I'll let you know when I finish and what I rate it as a whole. But uh, 
like I said, that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.